Hello, this is my new fuel ethanol steel. Sorry for mess in the workshop. But anyway, here you can see some collected waste product. Is a mesh constantly supplied to the steel through the pump. Here you can see up. These are some waste. You can collect the waste uh, waste product and uh, use it as uh, as a base for your next ferment fermenting batch. Is actual ethanol. We've got some collected over here. I don't know if you can see. Percentage. 95% I would say, as it's supposed to be. Is a production. Uh, is a cooling unit. Supplies water to the steam generator and to the steel. Here we've got some water. Recovery system, so we recover some water. Separate water from the crude ethanol that's supplied by the uh, stripping column. Is a stripping column. Here you can see stripping column connected to the rectifying column. So here we gain some percentage, and from rectifying column it goes to bucket. In our case, it's bucket, it could be whatever you would like to. The thing is, the steel can be connected to any volume and it's non-stop. All you have to do is just maintain the ratio between water. So make sure that there is no spirit in the water. Any way you collect it, you can check it. Uh, mesh supply and ethanol production. So it's very easy to adjust. Once adjusted, all you have to do is just supply the water and mesh so here's the water recovery water can be supplied again to the steam generator nothing nothing is wasted everything is collected I would say quite self-sufficient thing I don't know how can you see the steel I don't know if it's any better now, just try to cover everything on the rear plane. So here's the steel. On the right hand side you can see barrel with mesh, it's 20 liter barrel. Here's the columns, here's the water separation, here's the tunnel collection. can see some ethanol supply. It's floating. Just overflowing, so nobody would say that it's not 90%, 95% that I just fill it up with something. Not at all. It's just real production. Just try to show from this perspective. Some may say that flow is not fast enough. Flow is about 3 liters per hour of ethanol. But just take into account that actual percentage of the 
ethanol in a normal mesh is about 10-12%, so technically out of 20 liters, you can get only 2 liters of ethanol. And this still will consume 20 liters probably in half an hour time. And uh, again, everything depends on actual temperature and uh, ethanol content of the mesh. The more ethanol in the mesh, the faster it goes. The higher the temperature of the mesh, the faster it goes. Um, you won't expect the same results from the mesh that probably 5 or 3% of ethanol, you know. It won't, they still won't be able to produce 4 liters per hour, not at all. Because uh, it would need to process at least 60-70 liters to make 1 gallon, I would say. Uh, it's a high percentage mesh, uh, some people manage to do it up to 15 or 16 percent. So technically in one hour, one gallon could be produced and again, it all depends on the temperature of the mesh, temperature of environment, there's many factors. Plus this steel is equipped with, a, with an extra coil, so you can run whatever agent steam from the uh, wood powered steam generator, hot oil or whatever you would like to to generate some alternative to use some alternative uh, sources of heat or problems Is a reflux ratio control. Is the mesh supply well, so you can control the mesh supply more or less. Is a control well, uh, con control tube, observation tubes, so you can see the level of the mesh in a in a boiler in a steel. So it shouldn't be higher than this mark line. So this mark. This is highest point, but no lower than, than, than in the middle, otherwise it's running too hot. When it's getting too high, it's mean too much of mesh, so you're losing your mesh, your spirit, the column is getting cold. So technically once you adjust it, it won't go anywhere until your mesh is absolutely done. column steel. Pure ethanol. So it is a water separation part of the steel. Here's a separator and you can see water flowing back to the water supply. And water supply to the steel and 
which is a steam generator as well. Here we've got waste collected. We can reuse it again. Just add some sugar and yeast. This is it. Pull it down first door. Here's the mesh. It's almost depleted. No mesh anymore. Almost done. Goes into the pump. From pump goes into the steel. And from steel goes into the bucket. So the distillation is finished. I don't know if you can see. So we've got exactly two liters from 20 liters of mesh. And there's still some drops coming down. Mesh is gone. Now we fill up the barrel, this barrel with water, fresh water, and we're pumping water into the steel just to clean it up. As you can see, there's a lot of mesh. Technically this is it, thanks a lot.